And we've been talking about live sports with just about every streaming service now. HBO does not have that. That is not something it seems like they're going to be investing in. All right, so I was wrong because starting October 5th, HBO Max, also known as Max, also known as the Warner Brothers streaming service, will be adding an add-on that will give you March Madness, NHL, MLB, some U.S. men's national team soccer, and NBA basketball. I'm talking regular season basketball, the brand new in-season tournament, playoff basketball, TNT games, and this is huge. This is already one of the biggest deals in live sports in the streaming service stratosphere, and it's just massive. And you might be asking yourself, how did they actually pull this off? Who is this helping? Who is this hurting? Will HBO Max ever make money? Well, let me answer all those questions for you and more after the intro. Hey, what's going on guys? Zonus here, and today we're talking about HBO Max and their brand new add-on that's going to be free up till February 29th. Once again, this is a huge deal. This is a huge deal. But before we fully get into all that, um, make sure you check out Pending Doom. He made my intro, and bless his heart for doing that because it's amazing. But yeah, let's get into HBO Max. By the way, sorry I still call it that. It's just a natural reaction for me. So what's most important is that currently this is not an exclusive deal. You're still going to be able to see games on cable. You're still going to be able to see games on YouTube TV and other places where NBA games are. So it's not at this point negatively affecting other streaming services. It may affect some other people, but we'll go more into that later. But what's important is that they are considering making a exclusive deal out of this. Speculation alert. Speculation alert. Speculation alert. Speculation alert. Because they are running out of a lot of contracts, the NBA is, when in terms of showing their games by 2025. That's when their YouTube contract comes out. So this could be seen as sort of a trial run to see if HBO Max will soon be the only provider of NBA basketball. And the biggest thing to ask really is that, is this a panic move? Is this a panic move? You know, like, are they actually just throwing stuff around trying to see if something's going to work? Because HBO Max was growing a lot when it first dropped. Obviously, that's going to help when you have all these free deals and all these choices for people to start your service for free. But in the past year, they have not been growing like they were at first. Recently, they've actually been losing subscribers. So this could just be them either shuffling stuff around to try and make profit as soon as possible, but it could also have just been a deal they've had in the works for a long time, and they've been trying to break into the live sports streaming just like every other service. And um, let's talk about the biggest ones taking a negative hit here, and that's cable. So in the article where I'm getting most of my information for this video, they talked about how this is really a low blow towards cable. And that's where Warner Brothers Media is making most of their money still to this point. All these cable uh, channels that they're providing and that they're showing their shows on, that's where they're making most of this money. And this does negatively affect cable a lot. Even though the games are still going to be on cable and you're still going to be able to see TNT games on live and whatever, by providing more options for people to watch these games, you're still going to be taking mouths or you're still going to be taking food out of the mouths of these cable companies. Because once again, people are diversifying how they're viewing things, they're diversifying everything, and cable, trust me, is going to be the first one out of this equation. And especially if the new um, exclusive deal actually comes up in 2025, this is going to be a huge negative hit towards cable as it continues to deteriorate in value like it has been doing over the past few years. Live sports is one of the main things that cable is really holding on to, and I hate to really be pushing on cable here, but this is very important for them. This could really be the beginning to the end that is already, eh, it's kind of already started, but this could be another big step towards the death of cable. Are enough people going to get this extra $10 a month with their Inside the NBA and other, I know there's other TV shows for these other sports that they're going to have that will now be available live to you. And as we know, Max doesn't really have a live TV option. That's not something they dove into. And this could also be their introduction, introduction into that. So basically, is this going to help HBO make more money? Is this going to help Warner Brothers Media actually have a streaming service that makes them money? I don't know. I don't know. It really depends on how expensive this deal with the NBA is. I don't have the numbers on it. I don't know how much it costs them to be showing all these games. 
but I feel like a lot of people are going to subscribe to this, and a lot of people are going to start having this $20 a month HBO service that gives you all these extra sports. But yeah, that's going to be just about it. That's all my thoughts on this new deal. I think it's huge. I think it's exciting. And thank you guys so much for watching. You probably maybe learned something if you didn't know this already. And I'll see you next time.